Hello friends, welcome to how to wear and channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create a sequence and also use it for populating data in Oracle or DBMS. You may be doing a lot of lab exercises wherein you need to populate some unique constraint, a table with a unique field or primary key which is mainly used for uh, employee ID generation or any sort of ID which needs to stay unique and this is where sequence comes into play and takes uh, by default sequence uh, goes upwards so it doesn't go backwards right so it it, it doesn't generate the old, same old value again and it has a really a very large number which is 10 power 28 or something like that in oracle so that many numbers you can generate all right so let's get started on, on how to do this i already have a table okay and this table doesn't have any records okay so let me connect as the application user for this exercise I have already showed you how to create a table in the previous video you can take a look at it and this table doesn't have any record it has zero records and the table description shows me that I have a ID field and it needs to be not null mainly this table has a primary key constraint I cannot generate a duplicate record which will cause chaos if I show you where is the constraint yeah. if I show you how to query the constraint if you look at it Alright, if you see here, this many primary keys I have on this particular user or schema, user or schema, and you see here, because I am querying user underscore constraints, and you see this is my table, the table where I was showing you that I have zero records. Alright, so now, and if I show you the description of the table, I have an ID field which is not null, and the constraint is defined on this id field okay i'll i'll give you another video on how to relate column definition how to check the column definition to see which field really is primary key constraint defined okay here you you're not able to say right it's just only not now all right so i'll probably publish one other video because i wanted to keep this video is very short so i'm doing it real quick okay so now it doesn't have even a single record if I wanted to populate it I can use a row source generator this is a row source generator this connect from fr if you see here connect by level thousand less than thousand from dual select from dual connect by less than thousand which means that I will be able to generate thousand rows this is a row source generator all right so uh, but but I want my the first field to be very unique the problem with row source generator is it is always going to start from number one I do this now less than thousand if I do it again it will again start from one so it can never be unique the ID field this ID field can never be unique I'll show you for example after I <laughs> do the first set of inserts I'll show you only for one record and I'll show you how this causes a chaos and that's when sequence comes for a relief okay let's do it so for creating the sequence this is how this is the command I just wanted to show you what all fields you can actually declare in your user cre user sequence I mean sequence creation statement sequence name min value max value you can define max value by default it is 10 power 28 minus 1 I guess so not 10 power 28 uh, minus 1 when I say 10 power 27 no 10 power 28 minus 1 overall okay and then uh, increment by how do you want to increment your um, sequence the min value is the starting sequence and uh, the increment by is your the sub subsequent increment value 1 2 10 something like that cycle flag do you want your uh, sequence to cycle after it reaches the max value 
and how do you want to order and cache do you want to cache your sequence this is very important in case you are in a oracle real application cluster in real application cluster this cache plays a major role it can create duplicate keys so you have to be very careful i would suggest if you are in a using oracle rack better not to use cache cache feature okay if you are using the same sequence from both the nodes both the nodes it's possible they generate the same sequence they cache it in their memory and they end up using the same sequence number so it can cause duplicate key record errors and it's a most it's most common issue in applications which are using rack with sequence with the cache enabling but what is the drawback of not using cache if you don't use cache every time the sequence operation becomes a ddl operation it's a very costly operation sequence number generation is a very costly operation it has a lot of recursive calls so you may end up spending some time generating the sequence and so what is the benefit of cache if you generate a cache you have thousand numbers in memory already so you don't need to rerun re re the uh, recursive sql again and again all right and the last number what was the last number i have my for my sequence so other flags has their own meaning i would recommend you go through the oracle documentation for use sequences fine let's create the sequence command so create sequence sequence name i see i am using a naming convention acq for sequence app01 for my application and the sequence number 02 i already have sequence 01 so i am using sequence 02 all right so and then start with the one increment by okay so let me show you what i already have You see here, this is my existing sequence. My min value, max value, I told you 10 power 28. Increment by one. You see, its last number is thousand already. Okay, so it will go with thousand and one for the next sequence ask. So let me create the new sequence. So create sequence sequence zero two. Very simple sequence. App zero one zero two. Second sequence for my application. Start with one. Increment by one. No cache. No cycle. Okay. So no cycle means after I reach my maximum destination, I will never have come back to number one, which ideally means that I will never have duplicate key from this unique con yeah, sequence. Okay, that's the benefit of sequence. Okay, sequence is created. Let's verify. Yeah, you see here this is zero two. You see min value one, max value again twenty eight, increment by one. and you see the last number is 1 so it is having number 1 only now i didn't have a single record in the table right now let me try inserting the records see here for the id field this table has id field as the number first field isn't it if you describe this table id field is the first field so positioning my select operation in such a way that in the row source that the first field is using my sequence 02 for next value and then rest of this um, columns uh, rows uh, part of the columns row source generation i already explained you in my previous video you can take a look okay so let's insert this takes a while see 999 rows created now if i query this and it's commit okay so once you have come forward here this even if you roll back this sequence will never roll back it went to 1000 it stays at 1000 that's all okay <coughs> see here it became 1000 again here as well fine so this is how you create the sequence and uh, use it for your uh, data population now i wanted to show you how this uh, sequence saves your life right so i'll try to insert um, a record with just row source and you will see into the same table the table that 06 and it has a does it have a primary key yeah it has a primary key so it will save it <laughs> because i don't want to insert a duplicate record so i am going to remove this and put level here if i do a level here and even if i mention my connect by level should be greater than 1000 and level less than 2000 i will not say less than 2000 i'll say less than 
because I just don't want to spend a lot of time. So greater than 1000 because we have less than 1000 here. So we can say connect by level greater than or equal to 1000 but less than 1020 even. You don't need 1020. <laughs> you can just put uh, 1005. 5 records or 6 records is good enough. And you will show you, you will see even if I run this command I'll show you probably without this uh, additional fields because we are really interested in the level field right I'll show you how it is generator first you see it generates number one only okay so which means that it will try to introduce a duplicate record okay so Even though you mentioned is greater than or equal to thousand, less than or equal to thousand five, it will always try to generate the same age old value. And if I mention the other fields and try to insert here, and you will see the duplicate record error. See, unique constraint violated. This is a problem with row source generator because they will always try to generate the same starting from number one. But if you use sequence, you can avoid this. Had I used a sequence again for another thousand record, it will fly away, no problem, because se sequence used here is never going to repeat the same age old value. It's going to create a new sequence, it's new value, and the insert will just gradually grow along, okay? And it will not fail for any unique constraint violation errors. I hope you like this video. If you really like it, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to How to Balance channel. And this is and feel free to share your feedback on the comment section and let's see let let's get together on the second other I mean the next video thank you bye